Hello, everyone. And Oki, bienvenue and welcome. Welcome to the Art of Giving, the Mayor's Celebration for Business and the Arts. Before we begin, we would like to acknowledge that we are gathered today and streaming live from, so yes, you are on camera tonight. We're streaming from the lands of the Blackfoot people of the Canadian Plains. And we would like to pay respect to the Blackfoot people past, present, and future while recognizing and respecting their cultural heritage, beliefs, and relationship to the land. The city of Lethbridge is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. I'm Jeff Carlson, and it's your displeasure to have me as your host tonight. Oh, thank you. And on behalf of His Worship, Mayor Spearman, and the Allied Arts Council Board President, Peggy Maisie, it's my honor to welcome you to tonight's program. Tonight's showcase is going to include live performances as well as the annual Allied Arts Council Awards of Excellence. Folks, as you arrived, you were treated to the sweet classical guitar of Tony Zazula. Tony's at the back there. Give him a big round of applause. Thank you, Tony. Tony already has a glass of red wine in his hand, which will lubricate him perfectly because, Tony, you'll be playing us out tonight, too. So have two or three. It's going to be awesome. But folks, enough from me. Right now, it's my great pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Dave McCann. Dave is originally from Ontario, but he came to his senses and moved to Lethbridge. <laughs> and after 20 years here, he's, he's locked himself firmly into the hearts and the minds of the Southern Alberta music scene as one of the biggest singer-songwriters working within contemporary music. You're going to love him, Mr. Dave McCann. Well, it is an absolute pleasure to be here, folks. I know that uh, to be in a room during these circumstances with amazing people that care so much about Lethbridge and uh, contribute to the arts, but also make it their, uh, you know, their vocation here and to celebrate those people tonight, it's, it's just an absolute pleasure to be here. So thank you for being here. Give yourselves a gigantic round of applause for supporting the arts. dollar bills and I put them on San Pedro and me and that horse you know we just never did get along like a soldier returned from war nursing his country's broken heart you know we never come close no we never even made the start it all come down and it'll crash around you The blues got the dudes like the hellhounds found you And what did he mean when he sang that song Falling down like hell in a world gone wrong And I will I will heal, I will lend myself to love I will heal, I will lend myself to love We struck a match and we sent out from sin to Luda We burned like a California quarter to that Butte town juke saloon Blue tobacco roots Yeah, she cut right through Down the I-15 Through the valley of the moon And cleared it out Or you could stumble home You could chase the crows Or you could shake your bones It'll wear you down and it'll wear you through It'll kick you off like the walking blues And I will, I will, 
I will lend myself to love. I will. I will lend myself to love. It all come down and it'll crash around you. The blues got the blues like the hell. What did he mean when he sang that song? Falling down my hill in a world gone wrong. And I will, I will, I will lend myself to love. I will, I will lend myself to love. It all comes down in the place. A bad broke bean hold the trade in the cloud. And the thing grew taller than the luck I was holding. And you got love, and that's all you're folding. And I will, I will, I will lend myself to love. I will, I will lend myself to love. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure to be a part of this thing. Thanks for the Allied Arts Council for having me here and all the folks here at CASA and the security out there for keeping us all safe. It's pretty cool. I'll be back in a bit. Thanks, guys. Mr. Dave McCann, folks. Make some more noise for him as he packs up. He's awesome. And if you like Dave and want to be one of his groupies, I think he's got a show in Calgary at the Ironwood. Is that correct, Dave? Yeah, you bet. October 8th? Yes, it is. Yeah. Do you have tickets in the guitar case? Uh, no, I don't, but you can get them at the Ironwood. <laughs> there you go. If you haven't been to the Ironwood, what a, what a great venue. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dave. Uh, tonight, if you're, especially if you're watching from home, uh, all six and seven of you, I'm sure, out there, um, we're coming to you live tonight from the Casa Arts Center, the home for arts in southern Alberta. This building continues to serve our amazing local arts community and focuses on experimentation, incubation, learning, and growth. I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but this place is so packed and so vibrant every day of the week. On any given day, there are such a wide range of classes, a variety of artistic disciplines, and a showcase, a, a place to showcase the work to the community at large. It's an amazing, amazing facility. But enough of the commercial break. Right now, it is my great honor to welcome to the stage your president, my president, the president of the Allied Arts Council of Lethbridge. Do you have your ring for us to kiss, Miss Maisie? <laughs> Please give a warm welcome to Miss Peggy Maisie. Thank you very much, Jeff, and it's my pleasure to be here. And um, it's so great to be in a room with artists and supporters and in person. It means so much live music and that. So thank you for all the supports that you do for the arts and that. As he said, I'm Peggy Maisie. I am the board president for the Allied Arts Council. And I bring board greetings from the board of directors as well this evening. Welcome to this evening's show, The Art of Giving. It's the mayor's celebration for the business and the arts. And we are pleased to come together 
as a community to recognize the vital relationship between our local arts community, businesses, and municipal government. Thank you to all of our sponsors for your continued support of the arts in Lethbridge. This event would not be possible without the support of our event partners, and you will see their names on their monitors throughout the presentation. It is indeed because of their direct support of businesses, individuals, and organizations that the arts continue to th thrive throughout this community. The Arts Board Council Board of Directors continues to work on behalf of the arts community, advocating for greater recognition, enhanced opportunities, and broader access to spaces that nurture creativity and innovation. The economic and social upheaval we've all experienced because of the COVID-19 has shone a brilliant light on how essential the arts are, are for our day-to-day -day living and well-being. Artists and arts organizations across the sectors faced significant challenges, many having to pivot towards presenting their works virtually. The arts have definitely helped us stay connected during this difficult time, and the Allied Arts Council knows how important it is to recognize and celebrate the essential support that keeps the arts alive and well in our community. Thank you. Now, it is my great pleasure to welcome His Worship, Mayor Chris Spearman. Thank you, Peggy, President, President Maisie. <laughs> Okie, okay. hello everyone. It says here I've got to talk for 35 minutes, so just relax. <laughs> 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 I'm honored to welcome you and all of you to this year's event, the Mayor's Celebration for Business and the Arts, the Art of Giving. It's a great pleasure to be here and join with you in celebrating the valuable relationship between our local business community, our civic government, and our friends in the local arts community. I want to start by offering my congratulations to each of this year's award winners, as well as the sponsors who make these awards possible. Thank you for enriching our community. This event evokes a sense of deep pride in our local business community because of those business owners who recognize the tremendous value that the arts bring to our lives. As a longtime supporter of the arts in Lethbridge, I appreciate the richness that our arts community brings and adds to the quality of life in our city. A healthy, dynamic downtown area and a healthy, dynamic local arts community go hand in hand. City Council also continues to have a policy of supporting public arts in our city. 1% of the value of our major community capital projects undertaken by the City of Lethbridge is set aside to fund public art projects. That's an important policy for our city. It's created some legacy projects right here in Lethbridge, and we want that tradition to continue. We see people taking photographs of the train wheels near the river valley. We see the, the fire uh, beside the fire station downtown. There's many other uh, examples of the public art, uh, the new public art in the ATB center in the, in the swimming area. Uh, tremendous public art exhibits. It's, it's part of our, our city and something we need to be uh, proud of and make sure uh, when you're asking and questioning candidates in the upcoming municipal election, do they, su do they support the public art policy continuing? Because there's a lot of talk about wants versus needs and, and how much money. And that, that, that issue has come up in, in discussions in the, in the past city council. So I would encourage you to be advocates for the arts and for the, uh, uh, for the public art policy going forward. The Allied Arts Council works to create abundant opportunities for the exposure of arts and culture in all its forms and encourages the development of artistic talents in the citizens of Lethbridge. 
I'd like to thank this organization. Our arts scene grows in capacity every year, and we can't wait to see what the future will bring. The arts need to be valued. Artists need to be valued. Artists as an occupation needs to be valued and continue to, to be valued. And this organization does that. Our community is much more vibrant because of you. Congratulations and thank you so much on behalf of the citizens of Lethbridge for the vibrancy that you bring to the city of Lethbridge. It makes our city special. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chris, Mayor Spearman, your worship. I know that's your favorite thing when I call you your worship. I, I'd like to take a personal moment just to thank you, sir, for your years of service to our community. Thank you. Chris, you've been awesome, and you have always been a great supporter of the arts. I know, um, I believe you're a closet musician. Um, he and it should stay in the closet. Trust me on that. Chris, Chris has a drum set uh, in his office uh, that he takes his frustrations out after council. Usually, it's with me, so I apologize, Your Worship. But but thank you. <laughs> I'm glad only I heard that, Chris. All right. All right. And on to the show. This is it. Uh, folks, right now we'd like to begin our award presentations. We will be handing out the awards to the, to the, the, the winners uh, tonight or the recipients tonight. But I'd really like to ask if all the recipients that are with us this evening could stick around a few minutes after the program closes. Um, we'd love to take some photos, give your family and friends an opportunity if they want to, to snap a photo. So we'll, we'll just be making a quick presentation uh, at first, and then afterwards we'd love to celebrate with you and your families. And so uh, moving on, our first set of awards presented this evening are the Aspiring Artist and the Young Artist Awards. The Aspiring Artist Awards was introduced in 2019 and is awarded to a young artist in grades 9 through 12 and recognizes the student's level of achievement measured against peers at a similar stage of development. The award is valued at $1,000. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and it, that was more than my paper route paid when I was in grade 9. It's, it's intended to support and encourage their artistic work. Uh, we had a, a slew of applicants, but this year we had two outstanding applicants, and the jury was struggling with their decision. But thankfully, due to the, the generous folks at Avail CPA, we are going to be awarding two Aspiring Artist Awards this year. So thank you to the folks at Avail for making that possible. And so I would like to just give you a little brief information about them, and, and forgive me, recipients, if I butcher your names at all. Um, first up is Emmeline Nod. Emmeline is a disciplined and dedicated artist who is inspired by people, their emotions, and expressions, and especially how different people react to the same things. The majority of Emmeline's artwork is ink on paper. Also tonight is Olive Graham, who uses her art to connect with others. She's assisted with teaching children's art courses at the University of Lethbridge and at her own school. She paints primarily in oil and prefers to work on still life and portraits. The Young Artist Award winner is Kasia Snozowski. Kasia attended the U of L and has worked with both SAG, the Banff Center, and the AAC, all while maintaining her active arts practice with multiple shows over the past few years. Unfortunately, Kasia, I shouldn't say unfortunately, I'll just say Kasia recently moved to Ontario to pursue her MFA at the York University, but Mayor Spearman was able to make the Young Artist presentation earlier this summer. And so if I can ask you to turn your attention to the giant screen, we'd like to give you a little bit of a presentation. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, so I first met Emma. Uh, her mom works in the arts, and Emma was working down at the theater and just began to show me some of their art. When, we, when I got to know her a little bit more, she began to show me stuff that she's into. And I began to realize 
there's so much skill here. Well, I started drawing in like my math notebooks and everything and then started art classes and commissions and the galleries and this. The raw talent that she had was just like, oh, there's something here and I think there's really a home for her uh, in this community and and there is, like as she's been jumping out, she's uh, been getting involved in galleries, getting involved in courses. Uh, she's been asking for mentorship opportunities and it's just awesome to see such a young person care right out of the gate and it's like craving um, some type of support and she's getting it in our community. Well, I've seen so many really cool artists and all of their work and I'm really inspired by those. And I wanna do tattoos and stuff when I'm older and be a tattoo artist and maybe do my drawings for those. Yeah, I think like with the rising culture um, in our society today of like tattooing and seeing artwork in very different ways, it's just interesting that, you know, at such a young age, she's already gearing to go towards that. And, and I think it's really cool that this kid who wants to be a tattoo artist already has tattoo artists in town interested in her work. I think it's really interesting that Emma finds her voice in the artwork that she does and in in drawing and, and expressing emotions that way and being able to be heard um, in such like a, a visceral way. It was really awesome being such a young artist to have all these really known and awesome people like my art. always been a gift to me. It's something that I would enjoy making, but I would enjoy giving to other people even more. I learned a lot of art from my parents, first of all, ever since I was a tiny kid. Um, and then I learned a lot in schools too. I had a lot of great art teachers, like my teacher, Mrs. Keys. I also took a lot of classes at places like Casa. All of the commitment to the arts, I know her commitment through high school. Um, Olive has been incredibly committed in that entire time that she's been at our school at LCI, um, both within the school and outside of the school. She is a part of the arts community in whatever way she can be. Um, she's had a lot of experience and opportunity engaging in the arts through the University of Lethbridge and then taking courses here at the CASA as well. And she, at school, she's taken a leadership role within her art as well. Uh, she's used art a lot with the combination of my art class and her leadership class to um, use art as a way of engaging and informing people about some social justice issues that really do need attention. I got a job at the University of Lethbridge Art Gallery as an art camp teacher. I have so much to learn and I think Lethbridge is the perfect place to do that. Well, my main type of vis visual art I do is painting. I tend to do oil paintings and I like to paint the things that I like to look at. I like to paint things that mean a lot to me and mean a lot to the people that I plan on giving my paintings to. I just want to thank everyone who's helped me, everyone who's given me a chance and who has taught me something along my way. It means a lot to win this award. I think partly because of the past recipients have been so strong, so dedicated. A lot of them are like my friends and peers, so it's nice to be included in amongst that group. But I've also lived and worked in Lethbridge for 14 years in the arts community. Went to school here. My first art job was here. My first shows were here. And it was really, this is like the place where I have become an artist or have been able to become an artist. So it means a lot to be recognized in the community for that. Kasha has been uh, an incredible young artist to watch here in Lethbridge. She has uh, won several awards when she was a student, um, after she graduated. She's had a really active and engaged studio practice uh, with several uh, quite prestigious exhibitions and residencies. Um, so I can't think of a young artist that's more deserving of this award than Kasha. For me, it's always just been to challenge myself to make sure that I have room to make mistakes and be playful, um, to take on new opportunities even if they feel like they're outside of my like studio practice, like challenging things, doing things that are outside of that and being open to opportunities that might be hard or weird. Because Lethbridge is like a special, it's a special place. It's a small town and the art community is even smaller, but 
Everybody is really open. I think because it's a university town, you're able to make mistakes, you're able to grow. There's a lot of room for that. I think always I'm mostly just interested in making work that I, I'm i interested in and that work that is satisfying to me, that I'm curious about. It's, it's never really been about external validation, although that's really a nice extra bonus. On behalf of the Allied Arts Council, I'd like to present Kasia Sosnowski with the Young Artists Award. Thank you. <laughs> Kasia is a gifted young artist who has shown her work internationally. As well, she has worked with both the Southern Alberta Art Gallery and the Allied Arts Council. We want to thank you for your ongoing contribution to the arts and language. Thanks. We wish you all the best as you leave to pursue your Master in Fine Arts at York University this fall. That was awesome. Couldn't you give another big round of applause for our aspiring and young artists? They're amazing. Peggy and Chris. We're now going to have the president and the mayor uh, come up, and, and one at a time, we'd just like to make a very quick presentation here live. So first, could I get Emmeline Nod? And Emmeline, you can tell me if I'm butchering your name. Is it Nod, Nod, Nade? Nade? Emmeline Nade, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. And now please come up to the stage, Miss Olive Graham. And Olive, it, it's not Olive. Okay, just checking, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate it. it. It's folks like you that are the next generation of artists here in our community. So it's so nice to see. Uh, folks, we're going to uh, do some more um, presentations right away. I would like to say um, that, that I've noticed that most of the speakers are coming up and removing their masks. I won't be doing that because the delicious food from Prime Catering was a whole bunch of pesto, and I'm sure my teeth are green, so I didn't bring a toothbrush. But right now, before we uh, move any further, Mr. Dave McCann is coming back. Dave, you're coming back. Dave, your first set was a little short. You gonna do a longer one for us? I could. I, <laughs> not to put you on the spot, but I can't get to the Ironwood on the 8th. I've got a political forum. Uh, so. Folks, make some noise, Mr. Dave McCann. Thank you very much, folks. Well, I moved out to uh, Calgary, Alberta, probably over 30 years ago, and uh, I got invited down here to Lethbridge to play a show at the fort, and it was called Twang Fest. And it starred John Ward Hannum and a fella from my hometown, Peterborough, Ontario, called Washboard Hank and he was playing with a fellow by the name of Uncle Thirsty. It was a very, very interesting show. And uh, I met a farm girl from Champion, Alberta, and uh, we hit it off. And somehow, through years of dating, I ended up moving down here. She said she was not moving to the big city of Calgary anytime soon. So I moved down here, and uh, I wasn't sure if I could, uh, you know, be a singer-songwriter in Lethbridge. I knew it was a big ag center and I was moving down from a big oil center like Calgary. And uh, I'll tell you, this is a great community to be an artist in, and it's a great community to be supported as an artist, and uh, it's just a wonderful thing. There's a song called Fireheart. Chasing down the rhythms here 
and chasing out some rhyme like sunlight on the mountain end like moonlight left to fade and the people keep on pushing by rushing to the grave of all that I could be to you of all that I could be I have felt your fire heart laying next to me laying next to me you set the night blaze yeah sure you sparked up through the pines And a halo on the hills tonight And the stars just keeping time If I could hold you in my arms Like a solid from the night And the people keep on pushing by Just kissed in morning light Of all that I could be to you Of all that I could be I have felt your fire heart Laying next to me Laying next to me Thank you guys. Well, I, uh, I live down on, in London Road and uh, we have this older house. I believe it was built in the early part of the 1900s. It's got wood siding and every 10 years you gotta paint it. And uh, after you paint it, it looks really good, but then that sort of Alberta, Southern Alberta sun hits it for like 10 years and you know, you can sit in the backyard and look up at it and then it feels like you blink and then you look up at it and you say, man, that looks really bad. I gotta paint that darn house again. And I guess that's just kind of how life is. You know, you, you gotta keep working at it and keep hammering away. There's so many amazing people out there that do this amazing, amazing work, you know, and, and they're so good at it, you think, Man, I'm never gonna have, no one's ever gonna have to revisit that work ever again. You know, people like Martin Luther King, and you just think, man, you're never gonna have to 
revisit that work ever again, but it's, it stays in the world and it creeps back in when you least expect it. And, uh, you know, you just got to keep hammering away at that in this world. So uh, this is a song called Bridges. And I have seen the highway rolling as it burns away the night. And I can't see the green eyed glow reflected in the eyes. All them stricken creatures running from the headlights to the fade, from the silence of the high beams, the night begins to sway. And I go rolling, 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 I let it all burn down. I go rolling, rolling, rolling through a hundred dollar town. I go rolling, 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 wherein will I learn? I go rolling out beyond the bridges I have burned. Till there's no place left to be And I can't see the flames behind us Catching up to me And they're just distant in the rear view Moon bent as the scars Stretching out the storied darkness Lost beneath the stars And I go rolling, rolling, rolling I let it all burn down I go rolling, rolling, rolling Through a hundred dollar town I go rolling, rolling, rolling Where and will I learn I go rolling out beyond The bridges I burn Freedom feeds a poor man with the fear built the clan. There's just few and far between the reasons lost the kinder hands. They're just walking out the reverence through the chains that lay on cast. High above the trepidation, whispers of the past. And I go rolling. The sparks are raining down I go rolling, rolling, rolling Through a hundred dollar town I go rolling, rolling, rolling Where and will I learn? I go rolling out beyond The bridges left to burn Thank you for being here, folks. It's a pleasure to be a part of this event tonight. Thank you for listening. We'll see you in a bit. Hey, Mr. Dave McCann. Make some more noise for Mr. McCann. He's awesome. Oh, my glasses are fogging up. I had to take off my mask. Ignore the pesto in the teeth. Uh, folks, the Allied Arts Council Awards of Excellence recognize the individuals, the organizations, and the businesses that continue to make the Lethbridge Arts community strong and vibrant. 
The relationships between the business community, our municipal government, and the arts community continue to make Lethbridge one of the great art cities in Alberta. And I know that long and true. It's how I made my career. So I'd like you again to turn, turn your attention to the big screen as we present the 2021 AACE recipients. Jason? I guess it all began in, well, when I went to the University of Lethbridge and studied fine arts. That's when I first got involved with the arts. Even then, I volunteered on committees and in the art club. I think everybody knows Robert, and he's a, a familiar face at all our events, and I think people look forward to seeing him. I know the odd time that he has a scheduling um, conflict and can't attend, people are always like, where's Robert? So he's uh, kind of an important fixture, and uh, I know I really rely on him to uh, make my events go smooth. For one, I wanted to continue with my art practice, and I was fortunate enough to find a studio. And yeah, I was very interested in staying in touch. I started to meet people like Darcy, and, and volunteering and helping with organizing shows and being part of collectives. I mean, an art practice starts off very personal or private, especially with visual arts, but it's also nice having a place like Casa where it can be shared and go into the public, not just hide in the studio. Robert's been an important uh, fixture of our arts community, uh, contributing in a lot of ways uh, as a volunteer for other organizations, as well as being an organizer for the Potemkin Collective, which invited all sorts of um, individuals that somehow, sometimes had no arts experience to come and uh, have sometimes their first exhibition. Um, He's just a really reliable and dependable individual that uh, the arts community wouldn't be the same without him. I really appreciate Cassa and all the support they've given me through the year, years. And Darcy Logan has been very supportive, as well as everyone I've shared studios with and collectives like the Potemkin. The Potemkin Collective are also very important. Dancer. I owned Classic Dancer, I bought it in 1995, but I'm only the second lady that's owned it. So when I bought it, I bought it from a lady who was 80. And Lethbridge Classic Dancer was started in 1976. So I've been around, I think this is my 26th year. So I've been around for a while. Whatever's going on, whether it's the symphony or the fashion industry in, in Lethbridge, it's the dance community, it's the, the physical education community. You know, we support it all because arts is very important. I mean, everyone benefits. You know, everyone benefits. You benefit. Your neighbors benefit, your, your communities benefit. So that's why I always give to the arts community. And also because I make my living from the arts community. So classic dance where it depends on the art community out there. So in turn, I want to give back what they give to me. I've been involved in the dance community as a dancer, as a dance teacher, as a dance parent, and as a um, co-founder of Lethbridge Society of Independent Dance Artists. And in all of those aspects, Classique has been always there to support us. In fact, I've known Judy for decades and she's always there with that big smile and that infectious laugh and ready to help however she can. You know, when I think of the fashion industry that I support, um, for years I, I did work in the fashion industry at the college. I taught there and when I think of all the individuals that came through that program, they have amazing careers right now. That's all the arts community. Business like Classic encourages and promotes um, community, a sense of community in, in Lethbridge and specifically in the dance related activities of course because it's a dance related store um, but it's not just a store like I said it's a, it's a, a, hub, a place to, to gather ideas to share to see what everyone else is doing and to always have that support and always Judy's amazing laugh. This past few years we have forgotten that. I think we've forgotten how vital the arts are. We've kind of let it lay low. But now that we're all coming back, you see the vitality growing within it again. It's nice to see.
hoping it's not me supposed to be talking. Okay. I can always talk, but you don't like it. Our mandate is to be a vibrant community that uh, offers services and programs for people who live in the community. Yeah. So we have artists of all different kinds of genres and a mustard factory. Basically, what, what we do is we offer spaces for artists to, to live and to have studios, but also to have a communal space where they can share ideas with each other and get together. We invite um, people from the area and from the Lethbridge community to come out here and see what they're doing. We're so lucky to have the people that we do. We don't, we don't vet them in any way, they just ask us if they can have studio space. If we don't have any, we put them on the list. They move in here and all of a sudden they're part of the community, they're doing things together. They really support us as we support them, so it couldn't be a better situation. We've been here, this is going to go on our fourth year. I believe it was Lorraine Lee, when she was working at CASA, suggested to Vaughn Copeland that, you know, maybe they could get some artists in here and, you know, get some rent out of this end of the building. They opened it up for us like four, four and a half years ago, and within, I think, a month, they had the whole wing occupied. So anyway, it was, it was nice to be able to come out here and be able to have a room like this that's well lit, uh, warm. There was a real shortage of good studio space. This was, there was nothing like this in the city at all. But more than anything, you know, it, it's, it's really great because I don't feel like I have a landlord with, with the community association. We've developed a whole new network of friends. It's actually created an identity for this place. It's no longer an old decommissioned school. <laughs> which it was for quite a long time. So They move in here and all of a sudden they're part of the community, they're doing things together. They help us when we need things. Uh, we had a big fundraiser for our dear Bertha the Boiler who has departed and they all gave us art to auction off. We did really, really well from that art auction. Um, when Bertha was misbehaving, they would stay here and help us with her. They, they really support us as we support them, so it couldn't be a better situation. Folks, do me a favor, make some more noise for all of tonight's recipients. Thank you. Mayor Spearman, President Maisie uh, are making their way to the stage, and, I, and while they're doing that and getting ready, we'll call you up one at a time. I've gotta say, I love watching these videos and being here because there's so many cool connections, um, at least for me. Um, all the award recipients tonight, Robert, Robert and I, I think we grew up just around the block from each other by Lakeview School, if I recall. Um, classic dancewear, that's where I bought my very first pair of jazz Oxford dance shoes. You can imagine how popular I was in high school. <clears throat> and the McNally School was where my sister did her very first practicum teaching. So there's so many great connections in our community and I, I, it was just thrilling to watch all those. So please, um, I'm going to introduce the award winners. If you'd come up uh, one at a time and, and, and accept your awards from Peggy and Chris. First up, Mr. Robert Bechtel. And for classic dancewear, Judy Dormar. Judy. If I'd brought my tap shoes, I would have given you a little number. Um, and uh, for the Allied Arts Council, Service Excellent Award, the McNally Community Association, and on behalf of the McNally Community Association, Ms. Vaughn Copeland. Vaughn. Thank you all so very much. Give them all another big round of applause. As I beg Mr. Dave McCann, to come back to the stage. Nicely done, Dave. Folks, 
Give Dave a lot of love. I've got to say, Dave, you know, your resume says uh, singer, songwriter. It should also include storyteller. You're an amazing storyteller, my friend. I love you. Well, it's nice to do these acoustic gigs where people are listening. Usually if I'm, if I'm with the band, they don't want to hear stories. They want to, they want to just keep playing. So this is always nice to be invited to play acoustically for you guys. Uh, I'm going to send this song out to uh, all the artists in the room tonight. You guys uh, throw your life into this and, uh, you know, really are just trying to make the world a more beautiful place. It's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good ambition. This is called When the Crows Come to Carry Me Home. stones to roll I'm gonna be just where I'm found when the crows come to carry me home it's gonna be all right it's gonna be just fine the moon don't follow no man's lead she keeps her own damn time some words they shine like diamonds and others just peak skill stones and struggle holds like a worn out song that everybody seems to know some days we're out there walking lost we all got those stones to roll I'm gonna be just where I'm found when the crows come to carry me home We all got to call it out We all got to raise those words Solid as a fish killed chimney Strong and undeterred so let your songs be sung so loud that they rattle loose the door. Sing them out like you mean it for the ones who came before. I got those stones to roll. I'm gonna be just where I'm found when the crows come to carry me home. Thank you for being here, folks. My name is Dave McCann. Uh, why don't you guys? Give yourselves a gigantic round of applause for supporting the arts. During one of the weirdest times in history. <laughs> I know this artist appreciates it, so thank you. Thank you to Cass and the Allied Arts Council and everyone else that uh, volunteered to put this thing together. And certainly all of you for being here and supporting the arts. Appreciate it. 
We'll see you again. Thanks, Jeff. Big round of applause, Mr. Dave McCann, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, folks. Um, the Joan Waterfield Memorial Award. It recognizes a member of the arts community who is so respected by their contemporaries for advancing and enhancing the arts in our community. Tonight's individual has made a substantial contribution to our community in the area of arts or literary music and dance and media, theater and visual arts. And the nominees all demonstrate an extraordinary contribution over an extended period. Recipients are selected from names submitted by community member, members from the Lethbridge area. And the individuals who are honored personify the values expressed in the philosophy and vision of the Allied Arts Council. Lethbridge is enriched by a thriving arts community. I'm thrilled to be able to announce this tonight because Joan Waterfield was a dear, dear friend. I'm going to choke up here. <clears throat> Joan Waterfield was a dear, dear friend of mine who actually gave me my start in performing in 1981 at the Allied Arts Council's Performing Summer School. And the recipient tonight, um, tonight's recipient, I, I, think, I think I got to first perform with this fellow 20 years ago. I think it was my very last performance at the University of Lethbridge. It may have been his first. It was, it was his first performance. At that, we've worked together many times since, and I have been thrilled to see his progression just shoot up to the sky. So thank you. Tonight's winner of the 2021 Joan Waterfield Memorial Award is Mr. Jay Whitehead. And I think we've got a lovely video. Please turn your attention to the screen. My name is Jay Whitehead. So I've been in the art scene in Lethbridge for oh many years. When I was an undergraduate student, I was a theater student at the U of L. That was back in 2005, and I did my first pretty witty and gay cabaret back then. Then I went away to Toronto to study uh, my master's degree, and I came back in 2008, and that's when I started my theater company, Theater Outre. And so I've been volunteering and creating art in the Lethbridge community for uh, 15 years now. Jay Whitehead is an inspiration to me. Um, he created this amazing, beautiful thing in Theatre Utrecht and Dee's Playhouse. Yeah, Pretty Witty and Gay, when we started it, there really wasn't um, a queer presence in town. And since we did Pretty Witty and Gay, now there's Pride, Tabor does Pride, I performed at Cardston Pride. My involvement in the arts in Lethbridge has changed my life in so many ways. Um, I feel like I have um, a mission. I feel like I have a purpose and a value here in this community. Um, there's just such um, a spirit of, of wanting to participate, wanting to be involved, uh, and wanting to collaborate in this city. It's been wonderful to just make those connections and, um, and grow as a theater. I am incredibly honored to be recognized here in Lethbridge. Lethbridge is a place that I'm proud to live in. I'm proud to be an artist in. Like I said, I feel like the work that I do here makes a difference. And to be recognized with the Joan Waterfield Award um, is such a feather in my cap. It's really uplifting and, and actually quite moving uh, to think about how the queer community has kind of grown and embraced who they are and, um, and, and kind of stood for themselves in this community now. Uh, since we first started. The best part about Jay is his ability to gather people and to create this family. Um, there's a lot of people in the queer community that, that don't have that sense of family anymore, and Jay has given us all a space to have a chosen family. I'm just so honored, and it, and it means so much coming from a community that I love so much and that I work so hard to better. Thank you, folks. And I should let you know, I think Theodore Outre, Jay, you've got a show opening October 2nd? Yeah. It's called 333-333? 333. If you have never been privileged enough to see one of Jay's Theodore Outre shows, 
check it out. Folks, I'd like to welcome to the stage our recipient of the Joan Waterfield Memorial Award, Mr. Jay Whitehead. Thank you, folks. Can you do me a favor? Can you make some more noise for all our recipients, our beautiful musicians tonight? Thank you all so very, very much for being here. Thank you all for your continued support of the arts in Lethbridge. That's it for me, but I'm going to turn the rest over to your president, my president, Miss Peggy Maisie. I'll get that out of your way, Peg. Sorry. Thank you very much, Jeff. Well, it's been a lovely evening, and it's my pleasure, on behalf of the Allied Arts Council and the Art of Giving, we've enjoyed a remarkable sport from all of our event partners. We'd like to recognize them now for their generous support of the arts. Alger Zadnik Shapiro, LLP, Avail, CPA, DWR Consulting, FWBA Architects, KPMG Melcor, North & Company, LLP, Songer Architecture, Shilpa Stalker from Westwind Management Solutions. Brent Oleski of Royal LePage, South Country, who has sponsored the Joan Wanderfield Memorial Award for several years. Our media partners, Clear Sky Radio 98.1, The Bridge, and 94.1 CJOC Classic Hits. Thank you all, we are so proud to be working with you. This event celebrates the arts, but there is an art to putting on a successful event, and I have to thank a few people for that. Amy Dodick for doing the talented, the talented artist who created the portrait of Jay. Our executive director, Suzanne Lint, who has led us through yet another year, a very challenging year. And if anybody knows what the word pivot means, she does. <laughs> And always such a pleasure, Jeff, to be at an event that you host. Always a wonderful job. Thank you very much for doing that. And prime catering for tonight's food, Tony Zuzula and Dave McCann for their incredible performances. Thank you so much. Um, we've all enjoyed our wonderful volunteer bartender, Don Reeves. And he's also... He is also a sponsor of this evening's event. And finally, it is my pleasure to thank Mayor Spearman for his over 10 years of outstanding support for the arts and the Allied Arts Council of Lethbridge. We wish you much success and happiness in your next adventure. And we know you're going to enjoy your retirement and still support the arts as you always have. Thank you so much for all you've done. And I, I, I would be remiss to not mention that the Lethbridge Arts Days kicked off today. And it's in conjunction with the Alberta Culture Days. The Allied Arts Council is proud to be coordinating Arts Days, and there are many fantastic events and activities that you can all participate in. We encourage you to pick up a program and join us for the events throughout the Arts Days, including the Gallery Stroll, the AAC Cabaret, and Family Affair on the Square. There are a ton of fun and free arts events going on all weekend, so please come out and enjoy them. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam President. 
Folks, I thought I was done, but I just saw it the last minute. I, I need to thank you all again for being here. I need to ask, uh, Suzanne, are you still in the room with my glasses I can't see? Suzanne, Suzanne how, how long are we allowed to stay and drink? As long as we like. All right, folks, open bar. I would like to thank all of the award winners. And if you guys, and, and Chris and Peggy, if you could make your way, we've set up a little camera station just at the end of the hallway here. We'd love to take some, some photos of you all with your awards. But that's enough from me. I believe Tony Zazula is going to play us some music, and you all get to hit the open bar with Mr. Don Rees. Thank you and good night.